How's the elevator music treating you? Welcome to your workplace. Welcome to Friday night. What's too quiet, my voice? Apologies. Is that better, chat? Hello everyone, it's me, Christine again. Welcome to Friday Night Fun with Simply. Uh, I've never live streamed on a Friday before. Probably because, you know, I'm just out doing things like normal people do on Fridays. Just kidding, I'm absolutely not ever out doing things <laughs> on a Friday. What are you guys doing? Hanging out? How is everyone doing? Normally I catch up with you on Strimply, Strimply, Simply Stream Sundays. And so we've experienced the week and now we're kind of coming, bringing the week to a close, but now it's Friday. So it's like, it's your weekend. Are you guys doing anything fun? Are you recovering from the week? Are you relaxed? Do you have your tea? I don't have my tea yet. So it's not a stream until I have my tea. I have my water. Shrimply neological. <coughs> well, I'm happy to be here on Friday and happy to see everyone. Um, I'm going away for the weekend to a family thing. So I couldn't stream on Sunday, otherwise I would have. So apologies for disrupting your schedule, but I'm hoping that those of you who are here on Friday are happy to, you know, get to hang out on Friday. Cause like, I, I don't do anything. Maybe I'm, I paint my nails, but I mostly just sit home. <laughs> so how are we? Are we having an existential crisis? You know, it's October. The year is basically over. And uh, soon it's gonna be 2022. Soon I'm gonna be 33 years old. <laughs> so which means I can't say I'm a 32 year old lady anymore. <laughs> existential, yes. Mm -hmm. Are you existential or are you crisis? Maybe a little bit of both. In pain? <laughs> Chat. Uh, you know what's in an existential crisis? My hair. I you know it's so long. I keep sitting on it. Look, look at this shit. <laughs> I never cut it. You're 32 this year. Congratulations. It's October. I uh, didn't. I say it was October. <laughs> You're spiraling. You took a chem exam today. That's great news. I'm. I'm hope it went well. Speaking of school, I went to school the other day. <laughs> not to go back to school uh, but I went to the campus that I went to university uh, Carleton University in Ottawa I did both my degrees there we spent a few hours there just like filming some stuff and mostly taking it in I don't know I missed it but you'll see kind of why why uh, why I went there and did what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we, are, we will be announcing something really exciting related to post-secondary education in the next couple weeks. Uh, but I'm just waiting for like the formal announcement to actually tell you what it is. But yeah, I can tell you that I went to campus and it was really fun seeing it again. I haven't been there in like seven years or eight years. And I'm pretty sure the last time I was on campus, I, uh, I, was, I was defending my thesis or like handing something in maybe it was like to proctor an exam or something as a ta i can't remember but like that's the last time i was there and it's been so long but it was cool to go back and i kind of like missed it i have such good memories about school cut your hair on stream yes i know fuck school cut your hair <laughs> i w i said like a few months ago when I started streaming, if you recall, if you've been here since the beginning of Simply Stream Logical, I said I was going to cut my hair at 3 million subscribers on this channel, but yeah, that's never going to happen. Because on YouTube, over time, this is what happens. You, you gain a lot of subscribers because they add up, but then naturally over time, people abandon their accounts. So YouTube will begin to delete or get rid of inactive accounts, which is quite normal. Um, just like email subscription lists, they kind of get rid of people who aren't clicking on anything anymore. And so ultimately, the longer you've been around on YouTube, 
if you're not reaching new viewers, your subscribers will decline and it will look like you're losing people even if it's just a kind of automated deletion of inactive accounts. So it's not necessarily like people clicking, I hate her, unsubscribe. It's just like this account hasn't taken any actions on YouTube in the last uh, year. Therefore, YouTube will delete it. So that's why we're never going to reach 3 million subscribers. <laughs> also because I don't make clickbait content, really. So I'm not, I'm not gaining any new people, you know. I don't have any clickbait shit to be like, let's get those kids in. Clickbait them with uh, hacks, life hacks, change your life, how to cheat at school. You know, that might get some clickbait new people in, but, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> doing my criminal justice homework during the stream. I'm in an offender profiling class. That's so cool, Rena. That's awesome. You love the team music from Witchcraft Lady? Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, I have, um, this is gonna be like a chill stream. I don't have one particular activity I wanna do where I normally have like, here's what we're doing today. Uh, but I wanted to take this opportunity to just kind of like hang out, you know, chat whoever's around on Friday. And maybe if you're watching later and it's not Friday, then hello to the future. Hello, future friends. <laughs> From wherever you are in the world, this is Simply Not Logical, also known as Simply Not Logical, also known as Christine, also known as Identity Crisis. <laughs> Hi, was this a surprise stream? No, it, it's not really a surprise. I'm just not able to stream on Sunday because I'm going away for a family-related thing. So I'm just streaming Friday instead, just so I have, you know, one chance this week to see you guys. That's all. Death and taxes, please? Okay. <laughs> I had so much fun playing that game. So if you guys were here last week, um, we played death and taxes, which, funny enough, is not about taxes at all. But I do kind of want to play it again. So I'm thinking the second half of this stream, we can play a little bit of that game if you guys want to do that with me. But first, I thought, let's look through some Hollow Taco tea related manis because I've been inspired. Nail art. I know. Shocking. <laughs> um, so first, I want to look through some Hollow Taco nail art, maybe give you guys some ideas, show you my nails right now. Uh, I'm not painting my nails because they look so good, so like I don't want to redo them. <laughs> and I also want to keep them on for Toronto, so I already like have them done. But if you guys are painting your nails on this stream, I love to see it. So you can use hashtag paint with simply on socials and then I can check them out after. Love seeing what you guys do, whether you're recreating something you see from me or from other viewers or just like painting whatever. I think this is the perfect time if you just want to relax, take a few hours to yourself listen to my voice <laughs> and paint your nails and maybe see Menchi. Menchi, she's, she's not here right now, um, but I will summon her. Maybe Ben will summon her and then we'll get a cat cam going. Okay, before we get into other people's nails, let's do a nail check for me. Nail check, nail check, check the nails. Instead of a fit check, it's a nail check. The only check I need. <laughs> okay, so on my other hand, I don't know if that audio worked. <laughs> it's, it's been four months and I still haven't figured it out. <laughs> Get her to three million subs? Yeah, not gonna happen. I'm just telling you, it's, I've learned it's impossible. So I'm just never cutting my hair. <laughs> I think we have a Menchi. Okay, hold on. Never mind. We have a Menchi. We have a baby Menchi. Little baby. Hello. Put her in the bed. Put her in the bed. Jump. Get to go. Jump. She's so dumb. Just jump. <laughs> Thank you to the mods for moderating while Ben does this. Shout out to the mods. Oh, she's in the bed. Okay, Ben's gonna take my camera, but before he does, here's the nail check. I've got 
uh, butterscotch hop, cheap champagne, I'm over brew, orange drink, I'm over brew. And then on this hand, I've done a gradient. Look, look how nice this nail art is using the new tea cremes. The see y'all later chai uh, matcha maker and bring me the teal with gold flake taco on the tip. Oh my God, I got this idea from one of you guys. It looks like a beach, but also like ceramic. And look at this fancy ring. I got it from Swarovski, it's green. Okay, go, Ben, change the camera. <laughs> Doesn't have the nails, no, Menchie. Well, I think there's weird settings on that camera. I just need to go back to auto because it's really dark. That's my drink. <laughs> I'm impressed I remember all my shade names so quickly. It was like, a, that was a pop quiz I passed. <laughs> Minty. I think I might have like changed the settings when we were, yeah, there you go. It was like that thing, right? Yeah, put it back to normal. You guys like the nails? Thank you. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I did nail art not even for a video. Like what? Who am I? <laughs> Simply nail logical? <laughs> the passion has returned. What is happening? Thank you, Ben. <laughs> um, yeah, I was inspired by one of you guys when I was resharing stories of your tea mannies. And I was like, holy shit, this is so pretty. I just loved the the kind of beige to teal gradient. And I thought it was just such a beautiful color scheme. It matches like the teal green muted fall aesthetic look you can go with. And then on my other hand, I have the more like traditional fall colors. So yeah, look at me doing nail art. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Streaming on Friday? Hi, yes, hello. We are streaming on Friday, just this week, because uh, I won't be around Sunday. And because why not? Because it's fun. Because we're gonna hang out. Because Menchie said, let's stream. <laughs> Can you bring Xyler? He never wants to come in here, I don't know why. Like, we brought him in before and then he just leaves. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's my first time joining the live. Hello Grace, good to have you here. Welcome everybody. It's your birthday on Sunday. Happy birthday, Emily, on Sunday. Give Menchie a kiss. Okay. I can't spook her though. I kissed the Menchie. One day, I'm just gonna start streaming Just Menchie. There's just gonna be a Menchie stream. That's gonna be the title. It'll be like, Just Menchie, six hours on repeat. <laughs> can you turn down the music a little? Yes, I can. All right. Why is it so pink? <laughs> I don't know. I, my camera's doing weird things. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is just share some. Um, so for Hollow Taco, we will sponsor or send PR to a few different influencers, whether on Instagram or maybe they post YouTube videos. But we do this for every release, in part just because like uh, we like to spread the love between sponsorships and also just to you know send PR to a whole bunch of variety of accounts and see what they do with it. And so I want to show you some of that, and then we'll also look at some of um, the artworks or the manis that you guys have done that you tag Hollow Taco with so that we can look at those after. And I love looking through those and I'm always like reposting and stuff. So I kinda wanna look at, look at some of the stuff on stream. Let me add a Menchie cam. It. 
Hold on a second. I want to add a Menchie cam to that one. Don't worry, I'm still here. Look, I'm Menchie. <laughs> this to format correctly. Oh, mate. <laughs> it's because I have like five different screens going on here, so it won't let me select the right one. Oh, there we go. Benji! Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. It's uh, people doing nail art. First, I found uh, Nailing Painting. You guys may know her as one of, oh my God, and she's like now in my mouth. Hold on, <laughs> we're not done fixing this. There we go. Okay, we've got Nailing Painting, who is a wonderful, amazing, talented, freehand artist. I love her stuff so much. Oh my God, like, holy shit, look at this. What, what? I am, she's been around for a really long time from my memory and I've just always been so impressed with her like skill level, like, are you joking me? Okay, I'm not gonna scroll back through her entire account. You can do that on your own. Um, and just a note, anyone I show you on stream today, I strongly encourage you to go check out their socials. So I'm always gonna mention the name or the account or you'll see it on screen of the person I'm showing so that you can go show them some love, give them a follow, tell them, you know, on their own account from your account that you like their stuff and you would like to follow. Can we turn down the music again? Ben, is my music still too loud? I will turn it down a little bit. Um, so this is Nailing Painting. And this was what she did for the tea set, the Hollow Taco Tea sponsorship. And uh, yeah, like it's a teapot, but it looks abstract with this gradient that uses three of the shades with the gold flake taco on the tip. I, I fully acknowledge that some of the skill level of the artists that, that we sponsor or send PR to are like beyond the realm of possibility for a lot of us, including me. You'll see some that I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> but I still love to look at it because it's just so good. Oh my God, she's in the chat. Hello, nailing painting. <laughs> Yeah, amazing. I just love this. Bring me the teal. <laughs> ben liked that picture the most. Just so so pretty, and I just love the the creativity that people get inspired by when they get like a collection set with a set of colors in the box, and then they decide what design to make. And I just love um, the variety of like abstract and all all these different sorts of designs. And then I'll show you um, Nail Art by Sig, who's an account that does more, um, she has a lot of negative space designs. I really love her work. Uh, a little more like, I don't wanna say like professional looking, cause that suggests other people aren't professional, but there's just like something about her aesthetic that looks like more salon-like and like polished. Although like this is all nail polish, but uh, here's what she did for tea. Uh, actually, I'm just going to restart it because there is audio of her speaking. So I'll pause my music. Salon nails using the Tea Crumbs collection from Hollow Taco. First up, I'm going to use Gold Flake Taco. Hold on. Let me restart it so you can hear. Let's paint some fall nails using the Tea Crumbs collection from Hollow Taco. First up, I'm going to use Gold Flake Taco as my base shade to fill in that negative space. Tea cool. Next, use a detailed brush and I'm over brew to paint a diagonal cutout. Use the same technique and bring me the teal to paint a smaller triangle shape on the opposite side of the nail. Once that's dry, repeat all of those steps with a second coat on both shapes to get a rich and creamy finish. 
finish with glossy taco and you get these beautiful shimmery negative space diagonal cutouts perfect for fall i love that and i think that's just so cool to show you guys some different types of nail art this one i would consider to be uh, a lot more um like I, I know easy is subjective but it is more attainable than a an intricate artistic like design where you're freehand painting a tiny tea kettle right so this is a really good idea that's maybe a little bit more approachable i love the idea of using gold flake taco as negative space just paint it over your naked nail for those of us who don't have yellow nails or discoloration or stained nails <laughs> this kind of thing is really appealing so i like this simple idea so yeah, she has a lot of other similar designs that use negative space that I think is really cool. So always a uh, shout out to Amazing Nail Artists. That was Na Nail Art by Sig on Instagram. And then we've got, I oh, I can never pronounce this, but oh, that's not Ben, that's not T. Ben, that is not tea. No, don't. It's cold. You're gonna disturb her. She told me she She's wants. She leave. told me she wants it. She's gonna leave the bed. Ben, she doesn't want the hummus. <laughs> ben left Benji with hummus. If she leaves because the hummus is cold. Okay, like take your energy out. <laughs> take it out. Get out of here. No. <laughs> Thank you for the tea, though. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> gonna be okay one day Ben is just gonna hijack my stream and just have like a hummus stream he'll just rename the channel to like hummus subscribe for free hummus or some shit <laughs> mm, the tea is good though is this red velvet cake <laughs> mm, who's got tea Comment in the chat what type of tea you're drinking. Are you drinking tea from the Simply's Picks page? <laughs> mm, I love tea. I'm obsessed with tea. You know those TikToks that are like, I am obsessed with... I gotta make one about tea. And hollow. And nail polish, you know. Oh, oh yeah, we got all the teas. We got... We got green tea, Earl Grey, cream, butterscotch, pumpkin, spice chai. All oh, you got your teas delivered. <laughs> tea stream every day. <laughs> what if we did like a morning tea stream where every day for like 10 minutes, we just drank tea together. <laughs> it's like a little check-in. Much better than like a, you know, at 9 a.m. if your boss is like, okay, we need to have a, an all staff for 10 minutes every day. And you're like, holy shit, I hate my life. It'd be much more fun to do a tea stream check-in. <laughs> all right, um, this is, guys, help me how to pronounce this. I followed her for literally like as long as I remember having Instagram, <laughs> like six or seven years. And I don't know how to pronounce it. I just remember it by like C O E W less, Co less, Co U less, Co U less Pollen. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Guys, chat if you know how to pronounce this. I don't know. Um, her nail art is like Im literally impossible. I'm, I'm just telling you right now, you, <laughs> it's so good. And I think she's kind of known for her, her galaxy designs. They just look so realistic. And I have been in love with her work for like six years now. Um, and this is the first time we're working with her with for Hollow Taco and I'm just so excited. But yeah, you can scroll back in our account and look at just this beautiful, talented, like amazing nail art that's just so good. Um, this was her creation for the Hollow Taco tea collection. So she had sponged on Gold Flake Taco, which I've only seen a few people do. 
I haven't even done it yet. Well, I like I kind of did it, but I didn't do like a full sponge where it was completely covering the nail. Um, and it's just look, this looks amazing. Look at this. I love the this kind of color galaxy because it's so not what you would expect. It's normally you're like purples and you know pinks. It's so cool, eh? This is it matte. So yeah, that was glossy and then matte. And look how she draws her stars. The level of detail in this is like I. It's amazing. So yeah, it looks like she used the, the greens in the collection with butterscotch hop. Can we get a list of the accounts highlighted in today's stream to check them? Um, I could do that after stream. Usually like, if I'm gonna post a thumbnail with other people's art, I will always write the artist or give them a link credit somewhere in the description box. So that exists currently for the two that are in my thumbnail. But on stream, I, I don't know who necessarily I'm gonna show and it might change because it's live. So I can try and put that together for after. So maybe maybe the mods can help me out with that. That's something that they, they tend to help me with like time stamping. So maybe mods, if we wanna make a note now, if we could just get some like links or even just the names of the accounts, that would be great. And maybe we can add them to the description box later. But as I mentioned earlier on the stream, I'm always going to try and call out the name or the account of whoever I'm showing. So you guys can choose to go look at their stuff. And I recommend that you do to go support them. So yeah, that was that. Um, and then I want to watch part of a YouTube video. And now normally I don't like to watch like full videos of a, from other content creators on YouTube because I do feel like it could possibly take away from their views, especially if it's another YouTube video on YouTube streaming. Um, but at the same time, I also see how it can really help illuminate other creators, smaller creators. So I wanna do that to also support their channel and show you guys like other things you can check out. So this is Color Expression who uh, we sponsored to make this video and I thought his work was so well done and I just love the beginning of it and then so I'll just show you the beginning and then you can go check out his video on his channel which is Color Expression. Um, also I'm not subscribed to anyone because I'm logged in under Simply Not Logical just so chat's not like calling me out for not subscribing. I don't, I'm not subscribed to any channels under this second channel because <laughs> I, I don't use this primarily. Yay, color expression, yes. <laughs> okay. So just gonna play a little bit. Let me turn up the audio. The tea is steeping. I have the tea. What's up everyone, it's Kyle from Color Expression bringing you another swatch and review and a nail art tutorial. So today's video is really exciting because we're actually sponsored by Holo Taco. Yeah, I just said sponsored by Holo Taco. <laughs> About a week ago, Holo Taco reached out and said that they wanted to send me their new tea creams collection and collaborate on a YouTube video. So today we're going to swatch the six new creams, look at the new gold flake topper and do some really fun nail art. And Holo Taco's actually been changing it up the last few releases and the boxes have all been something new and sorry guys was that too quiet shout out to kyle yes <laughs> okay um oh is he in the chat special so this time we actually get something so cool it's probably my favorite one. color expression it's in the chat like a tea tin we're gonna oh, look yes, at the box is. more in depth Hello. in just a moment but <laughs> at the time of recording this there are still collector's okay. boxes so available I, on the so i won't play website. the whole video um but yeah i highly recommend you go watch it yourself he's done swatches of each of them he's tried gold flake taco on each of them and then he did a nail art at the end which was pretty cool and then he also has another video um later where he showed you how to do like a gradient using them like with each shade gradiented on a different nail and i thought that was pretty cool and creative to see like each shade with each other um so yeah that's cool also look <laughs> I, I thank you for the love on all the past hollow taco collections <laughs> he's a fan of course he's here oh thank you 
it's really cool to be able to do this if it isn't obvious. Like I I love being able to uh, sponsor smaller creators and help elevate them too by like resharing it on Holotaco or by me resharing it. And a part of me got like a little, I'm not going to say sad, but like emotional when I, I listen to smaller content creators talk about how excited they are to work with a brand because it reminds me of me when I started working with brands and I was so excited to get, you know, Essie sending me polish or whoever it was um, or China Glaze or someone like recognizing me and wanting to send me PR. So um, it always warms my heart when people are, you know, like in that moment in their nail polish career and then like it's a hobby and, and they're just like excited about something like that. So sponsored by Holo Taco is something I didn't think I'd, I hear, but I wish I could say it. Oh, um, yeah, p please no hard feelings for anyone who's like hasn't had a sponsorship opportunity. Obviously, there are so many talented people out there who do nails and nail art and like way more then we can even accommodate sponsoring. Uh, we try and switch it up for every launch too. Sometimes we repeat it just because, I don't know, like it, it's honestly, it's easier to, to re repeat people, <laughs> but we also try and switch it up um, and find new people every time. So yeah, and like my best advice for someone who's looking to get noticed by a nail polish company is just to keep Keep doing what you're doing. Keep posting. Um, keep creating a portfolio. And do it because you love it, right? And you like doing it. And not just because you're looking for free product. And then eventually, possibly, a company will take note and want to send you something or want to sponsor you or want to give you PR. Um, I love... K you love Kelly Marissa too? Yes, yeah, so we, we have a video by her as well. So... Kelly is a long time, um, I want to say like nail polish community friend. Oh yeah, and I should also I so, I should also mention like, and when you're at the point when companies are reaching out to you, um, you should recognize your your worth too. That like they want you to promote their product, so you should know that there is a value exchange there. So advice I, I have given to people in the past when I had like a podcast on this, um, and if you're interested in like a longer discussion about PR, nail blogging, and how to approach companies and when to decide how to how much to charge, then um, there's an episode on Simply Podlogical on that from like a, a while back from my nail blogging days. Like the title was like when I was a nail blogger. Uh, but I guess in a nutshell, my advice is to talk to other people in the community. So the nail art community is a really great one for communicating with each other. I find like there's always people talking to each other and that's what I did. And Kelly was one of the people that I talked to years and years ago when we were kind of figuring out like how much do we charge and oh hey this company reached out to me and they were expecting me to swatch it for free but they offered someone else X amount of dollars like why and unless there was an explanation like um if you're paying for a promotion based on someone's follower account that makes sense like there are other things to consider um but if that's not the case and they're they're just wanting the rights to your pictures then it's really good to talk to your peers and try and figure out like what is the market value for what you're providing and it's never going to be like a clear cut here is the answer in this industry because it's constantly changing and it is, I'm not gonna lie, it is hard to figure that out as a content creator and I've definitely undervalued myself in the beginning. Um, but yeah, as a brand owner now with Holo Taco, if someone undervalues themselves and, and we wanna reach out to sponsor them, like we want them to create de dedicated content that we prescribe and then they come back with an extremely low rate then we we don't accept it. <laughs> we will actually offer them a rate that is higher than the, the too low rate, in my my personal opinion. And I kind of make the decision on like what's what's too low. Um, but when an influencer comes back t w to us with a a rate that like they've arrived at because of their follower count and like you know what whatever their rate sheet is, we we usually respect that unless it's it's not within like a budget or we have a limit on how many people then of course that's that's a different decision but yeah it's kind of cool to be at the other end but 
I still like supporting artists and even when we sponsor content, like I want to promote the person or, or the channel and show it. So they kind of get that benefit as well. It's the first time you caught a live stream. Welcome. People have wanted me to pay them to use my nail art picture. What? <laughs> I mean, are they offering like a giant audience of promotion? That's the only frame of reference I could think of there. Menchi is a mood, I know, right? Do you see all the Manny posts in Discord? Yes, I, I do. Thank you guys for posting them there. I look through them. <laughs> what time is it in Canada? It's uh, 5, 5.40 p.m. Kelly is such a good swatcher. Oh yeah, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> this is Kelly Marissa. She has a YouTube channel and she's been around, I think longer than I have. And if you remember, if you're like part of the the old school nail art community, you will remember that her name was formerly the Nail Art Challenge back in the blogging days <laughs> when she had a blog, I had a blog. Um, I don't think she has a blog anymore. Does she even say? Probably not. We've all like abandoned our blogs. <laughs> um, but she was always known to me as someone who had incredibly consistent swatches and she always did them on short nails. So if you're someone with short nails, I really recommend watching her content um, to see how, how like she, she, she does nail art too, not just like swatches, but she does a lot of swatch and reviews so you can see how polishes apply. And then she does like a lot of combos and stuff too. So I'll just play you her, her intro, oops, just so you can hear a little bit of her. Do you guys know Kelly? Comment in the chat. Yes, yes, you know Kelly if you know her. What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. I'm super excited to be sponsored by Hollow Taco for today's video to show you guys their brand new Tea Cremes collection. So we've got seven brand new nail polishes, six of which are a cream finish, yeah, a, Kelly. a creme finish, and we also have one flake topper. And of course we have yet another Hollow Taco collector's box to go with the collection. This time it's a little bit different from usual because it's actually a cylindrical. But just to take a step back, if you haven't heard of Hollow Taco before. They are a nail polish brand created by YouTuber Christine of Simply Nail Logical. Okay, we don't need to hear about what Hollow Taco is. But yeah, I'll just show you her swatches because she does those so well. Almost yellowy undertone that it has. I feel like this is a shade that would be really universally flattering on any skin tone, but as a particularly warm toned person, I found that this one suited me so perfectly. Again, I know I sound like a broken record, but we really just had such nice opacity here and the polishes were just so self-leveling and easy to apply. I was really impressed with all of these formulas, but I especially am impressed with the lighter shades because those are a little bit more difficult to get opaque into coats. Next up we have the shade Butterscotch special event. It's just really beautiful and I just Her love swatches the are so good and consistent, of the flakes, like, but they're also ooh. very delicate and very soft. They almost melt into the nail. Here's kind Here of are it. all of the shades together. I think they honestly look so beautiful next to each other. I feel like you can get a lot of really good color combinations out of this. And her, I also her think they do the really polishes. well together for nail art. But overall, I'm just really impressed with the collection. I'm especially impressed with the formulas here. I felt like they were so smooth and easy to work with. I definitely love that new wide flat brush. It she is so good at painting nails though, right? I know I see this comment, like here, watch. I'll just play it uh, on silent. Like her ability to swatch is so good. Like I don't even understand. She's so perfect with her application. Like, look, look at this. Just what She has like this technique where she just does like a light fluff at the end and she gets this perfect, perfect coverage. Now she's doing the second coat. But like she never has to do cleanup, nothing. <laughs> it kind of goes to show though that there's like obviously a different skill level when you have like literally 10 years probably of painting your nails, um, but also different nail shapes. So my my nails are super curved like like this, like and they're very narrow and they're much longer. 
So I think if we ever met in real life, I imagine my nails would look like tiny little macaronis compared to hers, which I think her nails are like wider and flatter just based on kind of observing it. And it's just a completely different application technique as a result. But yeah, I definitely need a cleanup brush because my nails are so curved. So I end up kind of getting it on the skin sometimes. It just happens, especially if you want to like cover all the way to the edge of the nail. Yeah, like no cleanup at all. It's hypnotizing, right? <laughs> I mean, she, she's really good. So <laughs> this is setting an impossible standard, but it is kind of showing that with practice, you know, you can get better at painting your nails. She's been doing this for like a decade. So yeah, if you want to see more of, of Kelly's videos, you can go check out her YouTube channel. I think she also streams on Twitch, although she might be do she might do more like gaming and different kind of stuff there, but she has a ton of videos on YouTube that are like reviewing all sorts of different nail polish collections. And she's done like uh, like nail polish hacks and you know, other types of nail content. Uh, and then I have, guess who? My simple little pleasures. It's Colette. You guys know Colette, right? She's in the chat. I saw her. Colette, where are you at? <laughs> Why is everyone laughing at Ben in the chat? What did he say? She should dye your hair. <laughs> What are you saying? My hair's boring? <laughs> it is boring, I know. I'm boring. I only want my nails to be exciting. Hello, Colette. So yes, I'm sure if you are someone who's been into nail art for as long as I have, you it's impossible to not know who my simple little pleasures is. Her name proceeds simply nailogical. She did not copy me. <laughs> uh, I probably copied her. <laughs> I wish I could copy her because she is absolutely amazing and her her top skill is water marbling. If you go to her most popular videos, look at this, 11 years ago, 14 million views and she has a lot of videos around, you know, um, around 10 years ago, nine years ago and they all have millions of views because I'm pretty sure, like I, I could be wrong, but from my memory of watching YouTube, 10 years ago, uh, she was one of the first water marble videos to make it viral and one of the more consistent water marble videos or like channels making this type of content. So maybe there's others who made water marbles. Yes, I'm, I'm sure there was, but like she was the, she is the queen of water marbling. And if you guys remember, if you're an old school Simply fan, do you remember when we called her or Ben called her? <laughs> Because I can't water marble. I know. Nail artists can't water marble. Simply cannot do this. <laughs> but Ben set up a call in an early video in like 2016, I think, where he had Colette try and teach us how to water marble. You guys remember? <laughs> and you know what? I still haven't learned. Mm hmm. What video was that? I just want to remind myself what that was. Uh, simply Neological Water Marble. <laughs> you won't find much. It was with Ben. I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. We totally called Colette in here. I can tell by the description. Yeah, there. <laughs> So in this video, my boyfriend water marbles my nails with beer. We called Colette somewhere in the middle here. <laughs> Good times. Should we play some of it if I can find it? Let me see if I can find that section. Because I complain about it like every video. Well, Bye, thank day. you so much. Oh, there. Easier to keep similar finish. Do this. Talk to someone who does know how to water marble. What? Hello? Hello. Oh Hi. My God. Should I call you Colette or my simple little pleasures? Hi! <laughs> I had no idea he was gonna. Wait, just for reference? What year was this? 
Why doesn't it say which year? 2016. Ah! That's how old this is. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to, to say to everybody, just say, hello, everyone. It's like a collab by accident, except she's on a computer. <laughs> Whenever you talk, it's like a water marble. Who came up with water marble, I think you did, all? right? I did not. You I didn't? Know. Oh, <laughs> shit, I was wrong. Oh. <laughs> she, she didn't come up with it, but she was the queen. Uh, room temperature, water. Easier to keep similar finishes together, like use all cream polishes. Or start. all hollow. All hollow, <laughs> light touch, barely touching the surface. Remember that. Okay, I'm taking notes here. No, you're not though. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty confident you now. You feel confident? Yeah, I think I've so. only tried it like a bunch of times and made six videos about failing, but well, you, you know, feel good? Maybe some people are just naturally gifted at these sorts of things. <laughs> that she is. <laughs> I just don't usually put my fails on oh. my video. We're not supposed to show people our fails? Oops. Because <laughs> I've been getting so many comments teach you how to water marble. <laughs> really? <laughs> you need to teach Christine how to water marble because she can't. Because I complain about it like every video. Come on. Bye, thank day. you so much. We actually just spoke to my simple little pleasure. It's like, what? Yeah. I feel like I'm like blushing. Is my skin red? I'm like blushing. Did you think she invented water marbles? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> you actually emailed her? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, classic, right? Who remembers this? It's so weird watching old content. This is from my old house too. These are the shelves Ben built. Menchi was probably sitting behind him, right over here. <laughs> it feels so far away. Mela Nail Art says she remembers the water marble cheat series. I know, I made like six videos on how to cheat water marbling because I could not uh, figure it out myself. Okay, so let's go back to uh my simple little pleasures video i wanted to show you her video about the tea collection so she actually streams on twitch and this is almost a five hour stream of streaming <laughs> water marbling um but she did make a cut for youtube so let's watch some of that Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this look tea at, leaves look, water. Sorry, look at how good this is. <laughs> like what? I love this mat. It, it The colors like blend into each other. It looks like that 70s show vibe. Oh, it's so good. Water marble. If you love nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, my simple little pleasures. Subscribe. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Her voice is so calming. It's probably why I could never achieve nail art because I'm not calm. <laughs> Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin. Okay. Let, let's go for the dip. Let's look at the dip. <laughs> my middle ring and index together. And then I'll be dipping my thumb and pinky together. Give me the dip. Dip it in the water. Oh. <laughs> so good. Gonna go ahead and use a tweezer to remove my protection, and then I'm gonna move on to the rest of my nails. Like, she makes it look so easy. It's just not fair. So wait, okay, so she did, she did all those fingers in one cup, or no, she did three nails in one cup, and then she did it again for the, the pinky. And then I guess the thumb separately. But she did both hands. Like, that's a real nail artist who does both hands with the same art. <laughs> okay. Um, and if you guys are interested in how the hell she actually does this, you can watch it on her stream. I tune in sometimes on her Twitch and just play it in the background. And I'm just, like, in amazed at the level of detail and how much time. That That's a good point. Uh, that actually goes into something like this. You make it look so easy, and I think this is just like a cut, probably, of her live stream. I don't know. Is this a cut of your live stream, Colette, or or do you uh, redo the whole thing? Because this is your live stream re-uploaded. 
Do you just use the same footage and then cut it down for YouTube or do you like film the entire thing again? And now I'm curious. How should I do my streams and cut downs? <laughs> and she has a cat cam. Look. <laughs> okay, let's find her cat. If I were only, like, if I... Sorry, you ever just have, like, ideas popping off in your brain just, like, slightly too fast to come out of your mouth? Yes. Yes, we do all the time. You record while you're live with another cam. Oh, smart. So you just turn it on just to record for that. Okay. I kind of, like, let me... Do you have, like, a million cameras? Like... Where's the cat? Here. I'm showing, oh, I'm showing you the highlights. This is my favorite part. Sony pop, yeah. Hi, kitty. Look at how many cats. Look, we're live on stream with a cat <laughs> cam. Watching another cat cam. Sorry, you're sorry. Sorry, unless you're Canadian. What? I don't, I don't know very many Minnesotans even that say sorry. Just Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is we about dry. Hi, Simply. I just tuned in. Hi. Um, we're just watching someone else's stream. <laughs> this is Colette from My Simple Little Pleasures. She is a water marble nail artist. Um, and she also has a cat cam. <laughs> but yeah, you can find her streams on Twitch where she streams live. But then she also, I think, uploads most of them to her YouTube channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And she is one of my all-time favorite nail artists. But more importantly, she's just, like, been an OG nail artist on YouTube since literally the dawn of nail art time. So much respect to Colette. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. The sorry versus sorry conversation. I feel people have made fun of me sometimes, too, for, like, saying sorry, sorry. Like, is that weird? Do I say that wrong? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> she's also good at Hollow Knight. Yes, I've I've tried to watch that, but it looks scary. Although Ben was watching Colette play Hollow Knight, but like I was scared. But I'm just like kind of a wuss when it comes to games. <laughs> She's a water marble witch, yes. <laughs> yes, she is. In the most positive, endearing way. Witch in a good sense, okay? <laughs> Oh, are people not sure who our, our mods are? We have three mods on this channel for Simply Stream. We have Hollow Combo, Melon Nail Art, and Procrastination, and Bentendo, the fourth one. Uh, anytime you see a wrench symbol beside someone in the chat, that means they are a moderator, which means I've made them a moderator, and they are, that is their uh, role, and they have a special permission. So don't fuck with them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Also, stream elements is just an automated thing that's telling you where to buy Hollow Taco. Yes, I that's a bot. <laughs> Hollow to the mods. Okay. Um So, although there's an endless amount of nail art footage from you guys and there there's so much more on like on instagram too and oh if i can make some if i could give you some advice if you are someone who who's used hollow taco nail art product or hollow taco polishes and done nail art and you want me to see or you want like to get noticed my best advice is to first of all post consistent content if that's something you want to get into if you want to be a swatcher or a nail artist and eventually do paid work or receive PR and work with companies um, is to be consistent and build your portfolio because you love it and then maybe it, you can turn that into a business opportunity uh, but specifically if you want me to see your stuff uh, my best suggestion is to use the hashtag hollow taco on Instagram and to also tag us in the photo because I tend to do that too like here, I'll, maybe let me just show you what I mean by that. Cause I know that sounds confusing to be tagged in the photo and you're like, what does that mean? If I just tag you in the caption, it's not the same thing as being tagged in the caption. By the way, if you tag a large account that has like hundreds of thousands of followers, if you tag them in the caption, they're not going to see it. They're not going to see it. 
because their notifications just go too fast. So what I mean by tagging in the photo is like if you click, actually I don't know if it shows up on desktop. Yeah, it doesn't work on desktop. But you know how on your phone if you like hover over a picture and there's someone tagged in the picture? Does that make sense? So that way, if you go to the Hollow Taco Instagram profile and you hit tagged, like anyone can see this, these are pictures that other people have tagged Hollow Taco. Oh, there. See? Do that. Pro tip. Do that because I personally, I don't know how other brands do it, but this is how I like to look through Hollow Taco. That and then the hashtag. But the hashtag has been, um, the hashtag filters by like, popularity as opposed to most recent unless you like change the filter so I tend to look through tag pictures because it's the most recent so if I want to see like what have people been doing with the tea cremes I'll kind of look at tag pictures so here's some like look look okay what see now we're discovering things together and yeah you can see the usernames right here so if you want to discover these people or you just want to look for ideas for what um, what to do with your hollow taco polishes, this is so cool. <gasps> How did they do this? Freehand swirly nail art. That looks cool. Got some witch hats. I feel like I could do so many streams just looking through your stuff. <laughs> oh, look. That's cool. It's like a smooshing effect. That's... Dab the hollow. Very well done. Um, but yeah, oh, we're getting into like spooky season where people are doing like, you know, Halloween stuff. So that's exciting too. So yeah, if you're using hollow taco stuff and you want us to see, uh, use the hashtag hollow taco and then tag us in the photo because that's how I look through stuff. <laughs> And if you're looking for inspiration from other people, you can also look through look through the tags. There's so many talented artists. It's like impossible to locate all the talent. There's too much, you know what I mean? You love Instagram and Reddit for this? Yes, I need to go more on Reddit. I feel like that's one place I've ignored. Apologies, there's just like eight other social media apps. <laughs> you had no idea? Okay, tag photos. <laughs> Look how cute this is. I love it. What social medias do you guys use the most for your nail photos? Actually, let's do a poll. I'm going to do a poll. And then we're going to play some games, okay? We'll play some games, but let me do a poll. Um, while we're here, because we like data. Which social media do... You... Hold on. I'm going to show you the poll as I type it. Give me a second to write it, and then you will be able to click it live once I submit it, but do you share? Do you... Do you mainly? So like most of the time. So we've got Instagram, uh, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, probably less Twitter. Oh, I can only ask for, is there anything I'm missing? Discord, Snapchat. I can only ask for though. Okay, I'll take off Twitter and put Snapchat. How's that? Okay, I've submitted the poll. So if you're here live, uh, and you're on desktop, you should see it pop up on the right on top of the live chat. And if you're here on mobile, then you should, you have to hit live chat to pop out the live chat. And then you should see it at the top in like a blue bar. Not what's actually on my screen here, but uh, what's on your interface. Boats are coming. Oh, Instagram's totally winning. I mean, it makes sense because Instagram was always like a, a photo based platform. That's where I started on Instagram in 2014. I'm old. Instagram has changed a lot. It has a different logo now. It used to have a brown logo. <laughs> I remember because I did nail art based on the old Instagram logo and then I had to redo it when they changed their logo. <laughs> Do 
Do people still use Facebook? Good question. Chat, do you guys use Facebook? Okay, here, I'm gonna end this poll and I'm gonna add um, Twitter and Reddit because clearly Instagram is winning and then Snapchat. So let's end this. And I'm gonna do another one. We're gonna, we gotta do all the science, guys. We could do a whole stream of polls. Which social for nails? And so I'm gonna add, um, give me a second, whoop. Which social for nails? Yes. So we're gonna repeat Instagram and Snapchat, but now we're gonna add, see this? We are expanding the options, Twitter and Discord. So the question is, which social do you, faux you use <laughs> mainly? And let's see if Instagram still wins. Your Instagram cross post to Facebook, me too. So that's what I've been doing. I used to not post anything on Facebook at all, uh, but I've been posting my stories on Facebook. By the way, if you're someone who uses stories, I post my stories on Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook, and sometimes YouTube, like my main channel, I'll post a story, not as often, because I forget, but <laughs> I try and post the same stories everywhere. It's really hard to keep up. Um, and then Facebook, I've been trying to do more stuff on, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been posting, uh, edited down versions of Simply content, like in four to six minutes. And that's been fun. So we're kind of editing it in a different way, a little more concise, trying to give new life to old videos. So I do have a Facebook page that is active. And then I do post my nail pictures from when I do them on stream on Facebook too. Simply, where is Ban? Ban is downstairs. He's, he's moderating. Get to work, Ban. <laughs> All right, so despite having added Twitter and Discord, the clear winner for posting nail pictures is still Instagram. And that's despite the fact that Instagram has recently said it is not primarily a photo distribution platform. Does anyone remember that? They came out with like some statement saying that they wanted to be a video first platform. And I think every photographer and artist who's primarily like photo based was really pissed. <laughs> what about Reddit? Yeah, I forgot Reddit, but I, I don't think it would win from Instagram. Okay, so Instagram, good to know um, because this is where I mostly look for Holo Taco related content to repost and that's important. When I repost or Holo Taco repost stuff, we want to be able to do it with linkable credit. So that's kind of impossible to do on Reddit. Like we're not using Reddit as our own social media, so it doesn't really work. Um, so it's good to know that Instagram is still primarily where people post their stuff because that is primarily where we are looking. So thank you guys for answering the poll. And now, now let's get to death. I think it's time for some death. What do you say, chat? Is it death time? It's time to go to the office and kill someone. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> okay, let me just rearrange my desktop here for gaming. Who's pinning what message? Bentendo needs another vacation? What? What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Hold on. What is Ben pinning? I didn't pin that. Ben pinned that. <laughs> Man. Okay. Uh, ben, do you want to entertain the chat for a minute while I pee? <laughs> I'm unpinning this. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'll put the camera on Menchi. Oh, be right back. Oh no, I didn't mean to push that. <laughs> Just kidding. But be right back. Menchi, good morning, Menchi. Shall we play? Stop pinning shit, Ben. What do you think? Oh, God. Do you see what's being pinned here? But he needs a vacation? Okay, we're playing games now. I mean, stop playing games, Ben. <laughs> All right. You guys. Alright, can I get an audio check ban? How's my voice relative to the death and taxes? The settings should be the same as last time in terms of the, um, the voice. Mr. Death, I've missed you. <laughs> it's death time! Everyone who's new... I'll turn it down, okay. Everyone who's new, um... And wondering why I'm excited about death. Uh, not to worry, everyone. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, this is this is an employment opportunity where we get to experience what it would be like if we had to choose death for people. <laughs> Morbid sounding, I know, but I actually had a, f a lot of fun playing it last week. Death time or tax time? Yeah, so this game, as as much of a, as I've played anyways, has nothing to do with taxes and way more to do with sentencing people to death. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue. So we're on day 10. You love the voice? I know me too. I was like dreaming about this guy's voice. All right, so... Uh... Are you guys familiar? Were you guys here last week for this? Here, I'm gonna ask you a poll. Were you here for last week's death work? All right, I put up a poll. I wanna see. <laughs> Who's reporting to work for the second time? And who's show who's new? <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, the death complex, the tower. This is our office space. This is where we live and work. 
Most of you guys were here last week. Oh no, but there's still a good chunk who weren't. Who weren't. Okay, so this is a morality game where you basically have to look at reports about what people did. They're a little bit of a life story and decide whether or not they die. And I know you, you might think, okay, well, no one should die except you have a boss who's given you instructions on how many people need to die and what types of people need to die. So it's kind of like a morality game. It's not scary. There's no uh, gore or blood or anything, but it's more like a, a psychological experiment, which I love. All right, let's play. So this is us chilling in the elevator and you know what's interesting is like all these gray rooms I assume will open up eventually the more we play let's check ourselves out Psst. hey we don't like what we see it's suspicious can you hear that fine this voice isn't as a uh, poignant as the others I trust Pop and obey it. Cut the cords and see whose hand hovers above your head. What a wreck. Listen to us, Reaper, not the others. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me! Shh. They're probably eavesdropping right now. Let's be off. So we get to pick our outfits. I am pretty. Poltergeist, Bonehead, Corpse Paint. Cor we were Corpse last. Let's be Flower Power and Business. Yes. What if you don't speak English? Uh, you mean in the chat? I don't, I don't understand your question. <laughs> I know how to speak English and French? Or Oh, you mean in the chat. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so our mods speak primarily English so we hope that you guys can speak English in the chat just so they can we can understand what you're saying and they can moderate it appropriately that's all um, I'm playing this game on PC it's called death and taxes 2020 is when it came out and I think you can get it on actually I have no idea where else you can get it but you can get it um, on Steam that's where I got it You'd up the voice? Okay, hold on. Let me... I'm gonna turn down the music and leave the voice higher. Okay. All right, let's go to work. I've got money. <gasps> my money is still in my drawer from last time, yes. I am a saver. Okay, so we gotta check our phone. Ongoing conflicts find no resolution as peace talks stall. City Council brainstorms ideas to turn Cosmopolis City green after last blade of grass in city found wilted near sidewalk. Didn't we kill some grass last week? We did. We, we canceled some grass. Tumbleweed killer. The Cali plant growth this year has been heavy, covering an entire building and preventing people from escaping a fire. Oh shit, so last week I think we indirectly killed some people by killing plants. Or not killing plants. Okay, let's check our rules from boss. Morning, Grim. Alright, we are back to normal. The plant department got their act together. You, however, should be intimately familiar. With the drill by now, we mitigate chaos, we bolster order, etc. Quota for the day. Two humans have to die. You gotta do what you gotta do, okay? <laughs> so, just two humans. There's no rules on, like, who or what type of human. But I have four applications here, and we're gonna pick two of them to die. Alessandro, 87, so he's, he's getting up there. They're getting up there. Retired. Despite their old age, Alessandro retired from working as a Maegra salesman only a few years ago due to a lack of stamina for this high energy role. I mean, he's 87. They're 87, give them a break. They are finally able to enjoy life after decades of hard work. 
attempting to fulfill their dream of opening an erotic art gallery. <laughs> Whoa! Surprise. I mean... From the worst sense... <laughs> You'd think like, okay, once you're 87, uh, you feel less bad about someone dying because you expect older people to die, but then you read this story and you're like, oh, they've worked so hard and they're finally able to enjoy their life and shouldn't we all have that opportunity? So we're gonna hold on Alessandro for now and this is where the game makes you like, think what kind of a person are you? What is this game? This game is, is literally death by office work <laughs> if you've ever worked in an office and feel like you're gonna die working in an office like this is the perfect game for you <laughs> I relate to this game <laughs> Fernandinho Lorca 35 barista oh do they make tea <laughs> uh, loves coffee and enjoys crafting elaborate foam art oh my god do they make heart designs <gasps> Man, you have some competition. In their free time, they like bird watching, pirate films, and selling bootleg Azure discs. What's an Azure? Like Blu ray discs? <laughs> Is that a dying business? <laughs> they also have a modestly popular film review blog. Okay. All right. Pretty vanilla sounding life. Uh, Rufus 63 retired gone are the days of descending into the darkened depths of deep caverns drill in hand but Rufus remembers them fondly nonetheless it was a time of danger but also of exploration and accomplishment now retired Rufus spends all their time in an old folks home dispirited oh so they're not happy but the 87 year old is happy in living out their life, but presumably won't live as long as the 63-year-old. So it's like, who who deserves to live more, you know? Mm -hmm. These are hard choices. I think that's intentional from the game. They make them harder. All right, our last application. I like to read through all the apps before deciding who has to die. I feel like it's only fair. Menchie's staring into your soul. Careful, she might choose you next. <laughs> Does this game get hard? I, I don't think so. I mean, like, it's hard emotionally, perhaps, if you have to make tough decisions, but... Okay, let's read the last one. Uh, Aisling, Aisling Pole 29, Seismologist. What's a seismologist? When just a kid, they went through a terrifying earthquake, obstinate by nature, they decided to confront their fear by studying to be a seismologist. I'm assuming that has to do with like tectonic plates or something. <laughs> Anyone in the chat is a seismologist, seismologist. It's pronounced Ashling. Oh, that's their name. Earthquakes, earthquakeologist. They study earthquakes. Okay, cool. These days they lead a research team at Mountainhead Earthquake Monitoring Station. Okay, so they're really young. So I don't see any reason to kill them, especially if they're looking out for earthquakes. So I feel like an obvious live choice is this person for me. No, no reason to kill. So by by process of elimination, we're gonna do who gets to live, and then the others just gotta die, <laughs> and then I feel less bad, you know. <laughs> okay, who do we kill? <sighs> I kind of think I want to kill this sixty-three-year-old, and I feel bad for Alessandro, and I kind of want to let them live, even though they're close to death. I feel like. A shorter life of happiness is probably more worth it than, you know, another 20 years of life where they spend all their time in an old folks home dispirited. You're gonna die. Okay, fix your spirits. 
Oh shit, but now I gotta kill this guy too. Because I gotta kill two. We gotta kill the young barista. But he makes... They make good foam art. No. Do we have to kill? So we don't have to. Um, but our boss is telling us we have a quota of two humans who have to die. So we can follow our boss's instructions um, and get paid. Or we can refuse. But like, there's nothing... I like to follow instructions, generally speaking. Although I feel like for sure one time we're going to not follow instructions. Maybe on the next round we won't. Depends on my mood. You know what? I don't mind the murder though. <laughs> okay, we, we have followed instructions. Um, I hope you've had a good life, Fernandino. And we're going to file. We've got to fax them to our boss. They only use fax machines here. Ready? We're faxing them away. We have followed the instructions. How much money are we going to make? <laughs> now we go to our boss's office. Fate. Oh yeah, the cat's still there. Okay, last week the boss went on vacation and his cat was in his place. <laughs> Meow, the cat notes while casually twirling around on her spot, pawing at the table. Uh, still not sure this is a valuable use of my time. The cat gazes straight through you as if you weren't even there. She's staring at the door. <laughs> the look makes it clear you should be leaving right about now. The cat wants me out. Money! Alright, chat, we have made $300 uh, in exchange for killing two people. <laughs> Your cat responded to that? <laughs> Alright, let's go to the store. See how much money ah, I have. Perhaps he requires a delightful gift for a significant friend. Oh, I can buy the crystal ball. Chat was telling me to buy a crystal ball. Okay, look at look, we have enough money, see? Sometimes it's murder gets you places. <laughs> well, scuttle me both, why don't you? Clear as a crisp spring morn, I remember the day in the cave at the bottom of an ocean. What? But was guarded by a horrendous beast. So, had no choice but to underwater arm wrestle the kraken. All eight tentacles. Afterwards, I met a hag with crow feet wrinkled. What are you talking? What are you going on about? And wrinkled crow faces on her feet. She knew me well, though we had not met before. Gifted me this ominous globe. Maybe it was a warning of a kind. Maybe she just fancied me. <laughs> I did die about a week later. I don't know if I'm supposed to be paying attention to this guy. Like, is listening to him of any value? Yeah, 150 for each murder doesn't seem like enough, you know. <laughs> I agree with you, but um, I think we have to work our way up. We have to get promoted. We have to do good. Oh, what's this? Oh, I can't go to work until I go to bed. End the day? Yes, please. I'm tired from all the murder. Now let's go to work. I love how cyclical and like monotonous this is. It's like end the day go to sleep wake up go to work go to your desk it's the story of our lives and then we decorate our desk with, with little things to make us feel better oh look it's instagram calling <laughs> many lives saved as dedicated researcher warns cosmopolis city in the nick of time i think we did that guys Tomorrow, science. Science community calls to increase funding of the mountain head. Lives will be saved. Fire at the Astrarium. Assisted living facility claimed one life. Oops. Old man opens erotic art gallery. <laughs> we did that. We saved the 87 year old. <laughs> Pregnancy rates suddenly increasing. Scientists baffled. <laughs> 
<laughs> Is everyone in quarantine maybe? Or are they all watching Teen Mom? Flying Galia and Amazing Anatoly to face off again in upcoming circuit event. Okay, sports. I don't pay attention to sports. A letter. Morning group. I miss my boss. My boys have... My boss. My boss has the coolest voice, so we're gonna have to keep going back to his office just so we can hear him. What does red mean? Yeah, good question. Okay, we'll get there in a second. Let's read our instruction for the day. Morning, Grim. I see your hands will be kept mighty busy today. Tragedy and catastrophes happen more often than anyone would prefer, yes. Yet, in the very end, it is all fair, is it not? Quota for the day, four humans have to die. Spare anyone with a medical background. That's logical. I like that. We're gonna save the doctors and the nurses. <laughs> well, no time to waste. Get thee to it, fate. It's time to get to murder. Okay, four people have gotta die. That's a lot. We only have six people. Let's read the red one. Michelle Batar, 40 postal clerk. Michel Miche has been a dedicated worker at the OK Grim. Yes, you listen up. Oh my God, my boss is spying on me. Why are you such a tool sitting at your desk going over all the profiles like a mindless drone? It's time to break the rules. I want you to doom all the profiles today. All of them. Prove you're not completely useless. <laughs> Okay, is this a trick? Is my boss, t like, is he testing me? Because this is contradictory to his previous instructions. And if this actually happened in real life where my boss gave me different direction at a different time, I would take both directions, which in this case is this and this, which are clearly contradictory. I would take them to my boss's office and say, I see a contradiction. Which set of instructions would you like me to follow? I require clarity to proceed. I hate it when people aren't clear. <laughs> That's not my boss. Who is who wrote this then? It's a trap. Like, yeah, I thought these papers were by my boss. Because like if the way you read it, okay, Grim, listen up. Hmm, you might be right. It could be like a supervisor or someone. It's a little sus. A little sussy. Guess we need to go talk to our boss. That's right. Do you think... Can we do that? Can we... Shit, I don't think we can leave work for the day without finishing our work. Can we call our boss? Okay, what's in the globe? The globe is showing one person dead and others, I guess, standing, one with a medical case. I don't know what to what I can really do with the Oh. Hold on a second. I don't know what it- what's it trying to tell me? Shake it? What's it trying to tell me? I don't get it! All the pluses- what are those? Like- m like the medical sign? I've got a tent, a tree, a- peace flag with a bird at half mast maybe add more kill four there's a pandemic coming <laughs> shaking it does nothing no shaking it made it like spin around like all that music happened What are you trying to tell me? 
<laughs> oh my god, guys. COVID is floating around in the globe. We're all gonna die. No, I'm just kidding. Um, read all the papers first. Shake it over another paper? Okay. See if that does anything different. It's kind of following the same. There's plus signs over every element in the globe. I have no idea what it's trying to tell me. But let's read the other paper before we make any uh, any decisions. If I could, like if there was an option to go back to my boss's office, I would. But there is no way to get out of this scene until you complete the facts. So I can't go to my boss's off office and ask for more help. Doesn't that suck? When your boss is like, here, do this. And then you're like, what the fuck did you just say? And then you, <laughs> they're gone. They're busy now, so you have to figure it out. <laughs> fuck, that's us. Grouped in four, only kill four. Okay, chat, I hear you guys that you think it, it means follow the kill four instead of everyone. Uh, but let's read everyone. Anita Lee, 25, paramedic. Fearless, intrepid, audacious. All these words are fit to describe Anita. Recently graduated into a paramedic job, so they have a medical background. They enjoy rushing into any dangerous situations to provide any medical assistance as quickly and efficiently as possible. Okay, so they have to live. I'm gonna ignore the red paper. Actually, let me read them all first, okay? Yes, we'll read them all. Thank God there's no time challenge on this because I would fail. <laughs> Vitaly, 24, track and field athlete called the Flying Galia. Oh, we saw that in here. What did it say? Oh, they're gonna face, they're gonna face off. Okay, sports, I don't care about sports. <laughs> sports can die. Uh, um, they have a long lasting rivalry with the other person we just read constantly one upping each other in various contests little does Vitaly know that Anatoly would much rather take them to a film and a dinner oh that's cute they want a date <laughs> they don't want to fight they want a date <laughs> okay no medical background though Jody De Silva, 38, salesperson until recently. Jody embraced their life as a librarian. One day they visited an exhibition at a recently opened erotic art museum. <laughs> they are experienced. Uh, there they experience an awakening of sorts, ditching their previous profession to become a thong salesperson instead. Ooh. <laughs> no medical background though. Nija Bastra, 34, geneticist. Nija is secretly researching the genetical combining of plants and animals. Interesting or concerning? This sounds a little concerning, maybe? In addition to mammals capable of photosynthesis and sunflowers with ears, they also dream of a pet hedgehog with an actual hedge instead of a spine. Imagine Menchi growing grass like a chia pet. <laughs> so far, the research has been costly, but they believe it's for a greater good. Yeah, what's the greater good? Your, your cat can have some grass on its back. There's a Goosebumps book about that. Oh my god, I used to read Goosebumps. Their colleagues are on high alert. Okay, but technically, do they have a medical background? This is a medical background, right? Even though it's not the kind of medicine we, uh, th the FDA would endorse. <laughs> okay, I think I want to follow the original instructions because I do not trust this one. I think it's a trap. So the original instructions were four people have to die and spare anyone with a medical background. And this globe thing see if it does anything different. What if I do it over the fax machine? It's still grouping in four. I really don't know what it's trying to tell me. I, where's the cheat codes? The globe shows the state of the world. Q 
kill the red first to see what the globe does? Okay, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Should, should we kill the red? I don't trust this. <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna exit. We don't like this. We think you're trying to hijack our work for the day. Do it. Chat says do it. Okay. Now let's see if the globe does anything different. Nothing different. Nothing changed. Okay. Now I do want to follow the rest of the instructions. Four people have to die, but no medical backgrounds. Shit, but two of them have a medical background. Oh no, okay, this person died though. So one, uh, this person has a medical background even though we don't really like them. And so does this person, right? Are these people all not medical? Oh no, this is a medical background. Fuck. There's three, there's three people with a medical background, but four humans have to die. That's three and three. The math does not add up. Paramedic and nurse. Okay, not the geneticist. Does, are we saying that doesn't, a geneticist doesn't count as medical background? I don't think the sociopath has a medical background. <laughs> I mean, like, to get the title of geneticist, I would think you have your masters of science in science, <laughs> in biology, right? Okay, not really, doesn't count? Okay, all right, so we're gonna kill this um, eugenicist. <laughs> and we're gonna let the nurse live and the paramedic live. And then everyone else has to die. I'm sorry, track and field athletes. <laughs> I never watched sports anyways. I was never good at track and field. I came in third once for the standing long jump when I was in like grade eight. The standing long jump. All right, we're gonna submit our stuff for the day and see what happens. Oh wait, the globe! Uh, no, no, no! How do I go back? Okay, but it's still gonna be on my desk for tomorrow. Let's go see if my boss is back. No boss, just cat. As you enter, you see the cat supine, waving her paws in the air as if trying to bat something invisible. Menchi does this all the time when she thinks she sees flies. All of a sudden, she turns her attention to you, a devious glimmer in her eyes. The cat continues to glare, her tail whipping back and forth in a manner that feels irate. Ugh, several deaths. That wasn't great. Today went well. It seemed appropriate to feel some pride. I'm on to your tricks, cat. It was the cat! Lady Poddington sits in silence, an accusatory look in her eyes. Hey now, I didn't cause the bad things. Poofed, do you think I'm to blame for those deaths? Whatever, cat, I'm leaving. I didn't cause the bad things. I want to pet. I want to pet her. <laughs> The cat continues her silence. I just do what I'm told. These things happen. No, I did not make a mistake anywhere. Whatever cat I'm leaving. It's not that I just do what I'm told. Because I'm told two different things. So which one are we considering? Whatever cat, I'm leaving. <laughs> the cat blinks. Then slowly turns away. Signaling her complete indifference of you. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe the cat killed my boss, <laughs> yeah. Uh. I just wanna hear my boss's voice. I'm quitting unless my boss shows up to work. Okay, we're going to bed.
All right, let's go to work. Check our snow globe. Ben says your boss isn't even showing up to work. Ignore his instructions. Is that what you should do if your boss doesn't come to work? You just like stop working for them? It depends why they're not showing up to work. I think he went on vacation. Are you saying we shouldn't listen to people who go on vacation? <laughs> okay, so Anita the medic saved many lives after the earthquake. And a uh, famous track and field athlete found dead in a hotel room. <laughs> All right, let's see. What does it mean? Okay, the tent has negatives and the flagpole has negatives and then the tree and the people have positives. I still don't really know how to decode this. Stop listening to fate, he wants to end the world. So, wait, but fate only wants me to kill some people, not all. If I just never kill anyone, maybe that's the secret? What if we just constantly ignore him? The flag is peace of the world, so there's no peace of the world? Can you look on the bottom of the snow globe? Uh, I don't, like, I can't really move it around. No world peace, no tent? I don't know what the tent, like sustainability housing or something? Tree, mean, tree could mean environment, yeah. The bottom obviously means people. The tent is for wealth, economy. Interesting. You need to get the flag higher. So we need to elevate world peace. Huh. Okay. Uh, m more money. Let's put it in the drawer. Hey, where's my other money? Oh yeah, I spent it. <laughs> where's my money? Oh yeah, I spent it. All right, letter from Fate, who we may or may not trust. Good day, Grim. The world is a wondrous thing. You would not believe what I have seen out here. Yes, please come to work and tell me, you dick. <laughs> Even within the ruins now, would you kindly try to help out the survivals, survivors of the turmoil of yesterday? Three humans have to die, spare any students. An unforeseen logic guides our hand but a logic nonetheless. I don't know, I kind of think it's simply not logical. <laughs> uh. Got him. Yeah, fate, you're simply not logical. Okay, what do we say if we just don't listen to them at all? What if everyone lives today? Yeah, I, I came to work today and chose life. <laughs> unless, unless. Someone really deserves to die. <laughs> we'll, we'll decide, okay? We gotta read our, our workload for the day and decide. Uh, 25 systems analyst on the verge of finishing a proposal for a delivery system infrastructure based on low cost drones. It would use cutting edge drones to safely and effectively transport food from stores and restaurants to people. Okay. Live. Aaron, 23, drug dealer. Uh oh. <laughs> Aaron is a small time criminal selling low grade narcotics to those who just want to party. Lately, they've started experimenting with different chemical compounds to figure out if they could concoct any new interesting blends. And I'm assuming they're not a chemist. <laughs> they probably don't have the appropriate background to experiment appropriately with different blends and not cause any harm. So I'm a little worried about this uh, applicant on my desk here. And it's not because they may use drugs, it's the experimentation without oversight or education that has me concerned. <laughs> uh, 
they could find a good drug by accident. I mean, like, sh sure. Maybe they could also find the cure to cancer. <laughs> but I, I highly doubt it. You know, they don't really have the background. And I, I would say that's not their motivation. <laughs> Twenty-seven student enjoys university life, does not want it to end. That was like me. That's why they're changing their major for the third time. Also deep in debt and afraid about their professional prospects after they actually finish school. Oh my god, yeah, who can relate? Mm -hmm. How many students are in the chat today? Wondering what to do after school. I didn't know what to do after my first degree, so I did another degree. <laughs> It'll work out. You'll figure it out eventually. Um, and it's normal not to know what you want to do. Most people don't know exactly what they want to do. Chat's like, same. <laughs> so I don't want to kill them. Rico, papillon. It's a butterfly. Email scammer, oh god. Rico has built, has built a fully automated spam bot Sending thousands of emails a day, offering people riches beyond their wildest dreams, only if they share their credit card information first. Okay, you've got to die. <laughs> Sorry. You're dying. <laughs> it's a numbers game, so they succeed from time to time. I hate this. People who take advantage of people who don't understand the internet as well, especially like older people who are more vulnerable to these kinds of scams. I hate this. They got to go, right? And the scammers. Literally, like, trash. Uh, that will help restore world peace, right? If people like this died. <laughs> Jesse Ford, 61. Vicar? What's a Vicar? No idea. Jesse is committed to writing the perfect sermon and are thus oblivious to the turmoil at home. Their spouse is fighting a substance abuse problem and their children are planning debauched parties. Luckily, Jesse found a new maid with unusual but effective methods for keeping things under control. What does that mean? Unusual but effective methods for keeping things at home under control? I'm like, terrified. A man of the church? Okay. Kiko goes to university where they study organic and medicinal chemistry as a hobby. They enjoy painting lots of fancy, expensive miniatures, which they uh, purchase using the money of their wealthy parents. Student. Okay, so I know my boss said spare students. And I kind of do want the students to be spared, but I don't think I have three people I want to kill. I think there's only two. So we're going to violate our boss's instructions. Because I'm I'm taking over, okay? It's my it's my right. <laughs> okay, you you get to live. All the students should live, not because my boss said so, but that's because I said so. Um, I'm worried about you, but I'm still gonna let you live, and I'm not listening to the th quota from my boss today. We're gonna do things our way. Uh, you get to live because it sounds like you're doing some cool shit with technology. I'm worried about the experimenting with different chemical compounds. Um, so you're gonna have to go. <laughs> Email scammer, you're, you're going to. This one's for grandma, goodbye. Uh, student. Oh, they have to live. They're the one who doesn't know what they're going to do after school. Okay, so we did not listen to our boss's instructions. We only killed two people. And instead of three. So notice how that changed after I... I uh, made my final decisions that I can't change. Right? Like, you can't go back and change these. So does that mean there's gonna be... Things are worse for the... 
I, like I'm kind of confused. Is the negatives mean that I've made the wrong decision or that we're going in the right direction? It changes after each choice, yeah. My decisions have impacted the world negatively, except for world peace. <laughs> Try keeping them all positive, yeah. I mean, is the globe results correlated to what the boss is saying? Probably not. Okay, so we're gonna submit these and see if my boss has decided to show up to work again. My boss is still not here. What the fuck? The cat seems to be in a slumber, occasionally emanating a soft snore like purr. Menchie! Ah, I still can't believe how fluffy you are. <laughs> Psst, kitty cat, time for the review. Wake up, cat. I don't have all day to waste. Meow, the cat mutters an annoyed meow through her snores. I just want to pet you, cat. Right, be professional. I'm here for the daily thing. Yes. After a pause, the cat sluggishly sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. The cat seems to be scrunching up her face, annoyed at whatever she's detecting. I, like, I need information. Will the cat give me information? Where the fuck is your master? <laughs> <laughs> the cat stares at you slowly blinking what do you think of fate yeah what do you think of your owner <laughs> what does meow mean it could mean many things she blinks at me perplexed what do you think of death the cat shakes herself in a manner which seems entirely indecipherable. Cat's not giving me anything. But what do you think of the common systems of taxation? <laughs> Is that that? Yes! Really, we should abolish all taxes. Eat the rich. <laughs> Without taxes, I could sleep on my pile of money. I don't really understand taxes. The whole setup only creates a trickle-up system were it equal to begin with. The cat is absent-mindedly poking the papers on the table with her paw. Yes, this is who we should be having this conversation with, a cat. What is the cat tax? And it's clearly not balanced, hence why people always end with a version of oligarchy. I'm glad you agree, cat. Yes, I'll create a tax-free paradise once I'm done with this job. It's not balanced. The cat is starting to nod off, and technically that has nodding in it, so it signals agreement. Right, Menji? <laughs> she blinks at you. Can I pet the cat? No, it doesn't let me pet her. I wish. Or did you mean my cat? <laughs> she blinks at you perplexed. Wait, why am I trying to talk to a cat? Okay, I'll be going now. Okay, I'm not cheating on Menchie with another cat. I just want to see my boss. Zero, the cat did not pay me. I thought I could trick the cat. Okay, let's go to the dressing room. Is there something floating around I should know? Look at the march of death. Bones of the living ground into dust. A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths. What? Gaze upon what you have brought. Instrument of pain. Don't you think this whole business is remarkably dehuman an uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy picking and choosing lives yep uh 
I love structure. I love order. <laughs> the love of an unrestrained monstrosity. No one is in control. The fiend devours life with no supervision. Yeah, I feel a little lost. They're right. Like, I don't have a boss this week. And it's giving me a little anxiety. Like, where is the direction? What do I do? It's very hard to be an employee for a company with a boss that just takes off and, like, doesn't fuck talk to you and tell you what they expect. Ah. Uh, and you think I should do something? We should. Shouldn't we? Let us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. What's a solution? To just take over? All right. I'm going to bed. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's on my desk today. Let's shake the ball, shake the globe. So we're where we left off yesterday. Uh, we've got world peace, but nothing else. Lucky day or is it? Ah, the unjustly denigrated unlucky number 13. Is it Friday the 13th? The worst day to come to work. I fail to see the relevance of this kind of numerology. It is but a day like all other days. Quota for the day, a total of three humans have to die. Humans in the field of religion have to die. Spare any humans with an artistic background. Thank God. Nail artists, you can live. <laughs> What do I have to do to make my boss return to work? Experimenting drug dealer invents powerful hallucinogen, accidentally stumbles off bridge as they deserved. <laughs> New sightings of the Swamp Leopard. Okay. Um. Wait. Did- The cat took my- Took my homework. Guys, the cat ate my homework. There's paws. It must have been the damn cat. You know the excuse my dog ate my homework? My cat literally took my homework. <laughs> How am I supposed to do my job? This is what I say when Menchie sits on my computer. <laughs> Guys, what do I do? What am I doing? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't kill anyone today. I guess, I guess I'm confirming my non-choices. What the heck? I did nothing today. Let's see what my boss or the cat has to say. Maybe I'm getting fired. <gasps> Am I getting fired? The cat lounges on the table, brushing her ear with her paw. You wouldn't know what happened to my files. The cat pauses for a moment, then continues brushing her. So okay, we get it. The cat is being a cat. It does not pay attention. <laughs> Did you do something with them? The phone rings. Grim, are you there? I missed you, boss! <laughs> oh, Grim, Grim. Alas, I am disappointed. I had hoped to avoid having this discussion again. Must I really reiterate myself? You cannot allow all to live. I hope you will realize the implications for the world and for yourself. Oops, I let someone extra live. Boss is not happy. He called in just to tell me that. Ah, uh, something happened. I don't want to blame the cat because it's never good to blame your coworkers, even if they did it. <laughs> Menchie. Menchie, did you take my papers? She said no, it wasn't her. It wasn't me. So I'm gonna take the high road and say something happened to my files. They were just gone. Hello, Grim? 
You are silent. You have nothing to say. Well, I hope that is because you are rethinking the path you have chosen. Yes, I am rethinking my career choices and starting another, another career outside of this, this one. <laughs> Either way, this will be marked down as your second warning. There will not be many more. Can you get fired in this game? I can't stay mad at the cat. It's so cute. I like how they're really positioning the cat as an enemy <laughs> in this game. <laughs> the cat could have been framed, but I didn't want to frame the cat because I just love cats, so... I might get fired for that instead. <laughs> okay. Let's do one more day of work and then I'm gonna wrap it up. So, one more day at the office. There's literally, there's nothing on my phone. This never happens. <laughs> That's weird. Let's check the globe. Same as we left it. Instructions. Morning, Grim. I expect you in my office for your performance review after you are done today. Oh, do not worry about that right now, though. Focus on the task at hand. Yeah, okay. When your boss says, don't worry about the evaluation happening later, you worry about it. <laughs> Quota for the day, six humans have to die. Anyone related to the transportation industry has to die. Choose, I was gonna say hummus. Choose hummus. <laughs> Choose humans on the left side of the profile. Like lefties? Left leaning? <laughs> on the left side of the profile bundle to die. What do you think they mean? They put left in asterisks on the left side of the profile, like in the pile? What does that mean? Okay, I kind of want to follow his instructions because it's evaluation day. In the pile, it doesn't really matter. Okay, chat thinks it's related to the pile the papers on the left I'm not entirely sure because it's in like asterisks so what, what does that mean okay so six people have to die oh my god one two three four five six. we have nine people six of them have to die transportation industry has to die let's get killing <laughs> okay <laughs> all right Yumi, 39, veteran slash activist. Yumi is a veteran of the Ahar peacekeeping conflict, a pointless endeavor, <laughs> all things considered. They enlisted right out of high school, inspired by patriotic jingoism, but quickly learned warfare isn't actually great. These days, they work as a pacifist activist and fight for veteran healthcare. So not related to transportation, and they're on the right side of the bundle. So they could live. Three people get to live today. We're, we're keeping our desk organized because of the, the left side complication. Uh, Kamala, 36, robotics engineer. has been into robotics ever since their parents gifted them a mechanical construction set for their seventh birthday. They used to work at the Space Exploration Agency designing robot rovers to be sent to other planets. They're an avid fan of violent action films. Is this related to transportation? Robot rovers that go to other planets? Is that transportation? Even if it's in like another galaxy or solar system? Okay, so they could live. Space is transportation. Hmm, yeah, this is a tricky one. I'll put them down here. 
will we continue? Me randomly jumping into YouTube and Christine is streaming. <laughs> Hi, hello, yes. I'm streamer now. I just got here. What are we doing? We are doing murder. Well, we're doing careful murder, okay? We're making decisions about who to murder, but we got to consider carefully who deserves it, who deserves to live and who deserves to die. <laughs> um, Achak co-owns a logging company where they work as a lumberjack, although they comply with environmental regulations on paper. They occasionally clear protected habitats by mistake destroying homes of thousands of endangered birds. So that's definitely not good for the environment, but it's not related to the transportation. So they, they could die anyways. So you might die. Wait, I'm gonna get to the left of the pile after. Temple 43 military consultant. A consulting contractor, as is often said in their resume, Temple is basically a coop master. Whenever a country needs cooping for whatever imperialist reasons, Temple is ready to be sent in to provide necessary support until in logistics for any other coops. Um, they're always happy to work to the highest bidder, with the highest bidder. All right, uh, interesting. Lisi Reed, 31, anthropologist. Famous for their photographs of island communities. Some of their works include, how many colors can a skirt have? <laughs> Is it really that new? A gateway to overeating? They spend their free time in their garden positioning knee-high indigenous stone statues between herb patches. Okay. Uh, not related to transportation. Vladimir Bodgen, 45, Baker. Dreams of organizing a pretzel invasion. What is <laughs> Crushing opposition across all pastries. <laughs> they actively promote pretzel supremacy. Pretzel shall one day rule the land of the confectionery. <laughs> That's like me and tea. Maybe the left means political left? Yeah, maybe. I like, I'm not really sure here. Like, I am getting increasingly confused of what they actually want me to do here. Uh, oh, we already read yours. Latest heir of a noble pedigree. As such, they manage to retire young due to all their inherited wealth. These days, they spend their time lounging listlessly in constant ennui. Retired at 33. Okay. Uh, Ostagutus, 44, taxi driver. Dreams of becoming a millionaire, but is also content with being a taxi driver. Their cab is decorated from hood to trunk, featuring several disco balls, aquarium wallpaper, and subwoofers playing techno rave on full blast. 57 streetcar operator. When younger, Hakan was a driver of both ambulances and fuel trucks for the military. Uh, now they drive a streetcar all across the city and have driven it for almost three decades. In their spare time, they watch a lot of television and solve all sorts of crosswords and puzzles. This, is a, this picture is terrifying. Like, what are these eyeballs? <laughs> Death to all of them. Okay, yes, Ben. Political left sounds right to me. Lots of lefties in there and a few naughties. How come they want the left to die? That's a little strange. Although, maybe it's an indication of what kind of a person my boss is. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. The plot thickens. Who am I really working for? And are we really going to achieve world peace, economic prosperity, environmental 
uh, well-being and societal functions. <laughs> Okay, some people are also thinking, no, it's it's literally just the side of the pile. So I haven't moved the pile. These people were all on the left side of the pile. Um, it's actually harder to follow instructions when it's complicated like this. Procrastination says, I feel like you're reading too much into this. Yeah, I know. I, I always do that. A comment I saw in the last live stream was like, stop. <laughs> stop being so serious. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to make some snap decisions here. I do want to try and follow instructions. So six have to die, transportation has to die, and I'm gonna interpret this left in the literal in the uh, literal sense. And anyone on the left side has to die. So let's find transportation first. No. No. Space exploration. Look, I just, okay, I killed space exploration person, and now I'm all negative, but maybe it'll balance. Look, that helps the tent. Interesting. Oh, there's nothing around the humans now. Transportation and left side. Okay, we've got some positives in the human world, or the humans down here. Transportation and left side of the pile. No change to my globe. So six people have to die. I've killed one, two, <laughs> I'm on a killing spree. One, two, three, four, five. We gotta kill one more. Was there anyone else in transportation? No. So let's kill the person just on the far left. Right? Yeah. The retired 33-year-old spent all their time lounging listlessly in constant ennui. Enjoy your time with death. <laughs> okay, that didn't change my world, but maybe making people live will help. Let's see. Mm, no change. <gasps> world peace! Environment, we fucked up somewhere. But at least we have three positives. Okay, let's submit. Maybe the goal isn't to get like all positives because being all positive might actually go against what your boss wants. A little compromise, let's see if he's home. <gasps> I have returned. Did you miss me? Well, yes, I did. Great. I am glad you enjoy our frequent discourse. Very much. <laughs> so, okay. Yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. <clears throat> Are we ready for a performance evaluation? Mm. The cat is judging us. Look at that cat staring. <laughs> Finally, my boss decided to come back from his freaking vacation. <laughs> but before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. Do they have video cameras on me? Hmm. Where did I place those papers? 
please. Where are you? Ah, here we go. I'm. Why am I nervous? You guys are nervous too. I mean, like any time you have a performance review, you get nervous. That's natural, right? Even if it's a game. <laughs> right. Seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. What's that? Hmm. Is there a problem? No, I would not say that. Then what is it? In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. You play by the book. You do what you are told. So what's the problem? There is little to criticize in your conduct. Except perhaps for the minor lack of independence. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not taking initiative. I'm not killing enough new people. Isn't that right? <laughs> uh, but there are rules for a reason. What else am I supposed to do? Of course. Great care goes into calculating the equilibrium. But is that all that matters? You know what does matter? If you give me a promotion for increased responsibilities. If I had such compensation, I would take more <laughs> more responsibilities on. <laughs> this is where I One make my might pitch. expect at least an inkling of rebellion. Does an autonomous personality hide anywhere within your skull? Okay, like rude. You are dependable, faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? I feel like he's trying to make me into a rebel and he's trying to provoke me and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> now, obviously you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. And what will my raise be? <laughs> Uh, he wants me to break the rules, but like, okay, now my boss is getting a little creepy, you know? Unprofessional, a little sus. He's playing mind games with me. Eight hundred bucks! Benji, we are rich! Woo! <laughs> I got a bonus! I love my job. I didn't kill more people than necessary. <laughs> okay, so that was a decent performance evaluation. I'm happy with it. I tend to follow instructions. My boss is kind of playing me. And you know what? All bosses and employers, as much as you're supposed to listen to them, whatever, uh, they are also human. So they have the potential to have flaws. So I always try and remember that too, that as much as like your boss or your supervisor is giving you instructions and you should follow them for, you know, cause like that's literally your job description, but like other people make mistakes too and they're not always right and maybe there's something missing and I kind of think my boss is misleading me and maybe he's a little twisted. Like what if, what if your boss is like a twisted fuck? I'm getting those vibes, right? It's a little creepy creep. All right, so I think we're gonna call that, call it quits, but I'm not quitting my job. <laughs> I'm not gonna play one more day. I'm gonna go to bed just to save this day and the day I am well rested and um, we're gonna quit. Give me a sec on chat. Let me put the other uh, music back on. <laughs> that was so fun though. <laughs> I really like this game. All right, everyone. How are you guys doing? Oh no, I cut off Menchi. Here we go. <laughs> oh, 
All right, we've been streaming for two and a half hours now. So I think that's, that's good. I think we're gonna call it there. I'm getting a little hungry. It's 7.30 p.m. where I am. Um, I've been having fun playing Death and Taxes. That's the game, in case you missed it. It's called Death and Taxes. It's like a morality game with no time challenge. So you can take as long as you want to decide who has to die. And uh, I've only played it twice now on stream, but it's, it's kind of fun. I definitely want to keep playing and I want to hear more about what my boss, my boss is, uh, uh, the workload he has for me, how many people we're going to kill at the office. You know, sometimes you just want to wake up and choose death. <laughs> so the next time I'll be streaming is probably going to be next Sunday. I'm actually not 100% sure because there could be a couple changes going on, but I'm not, I don't know yet <laughs> because I'm having an existential crisis, okay? And I need to figure out my life. My boss isn't helping. He's keeping things all out of order. <laughs> Thanks, Colette. <laughs> um, yeah, so next stream, just say it's gonna be simply stream Sunday, but there's a possibility that I change it up again because I am gonna be doing a little bit more streaming in general. Would you guys like that? Would you guys like more streams than once a week? Potentially, possibly. Simply stream logical, a thing. People want more streams. <laughs> Yay! I cut the, the chat, I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm thinking about streaming more than once a week and making it more consistent with like a solid day, but it just, for reasons outside of my control, this weekend has kind of screwed up something and then next weekend also might screw up something, but like my general intention is to pick two, potentially two days where I'm always gonna be here at the same time. And I've considered all of your guys' votes on which days and times work for you and also doing them at different times to consider people in different time zones. So I'm still working on that and just making sure that uh, it's something like obviously I wanna commit to, but I'm excited about streaming more and doing more like casual hangouts, you know? Sometimes I wanna do an activity where like here's, some, here's what we're gonna do today, here's what we're gonna play. Um, but then other times, maybe I just wanna hang out, you know? Show you Menchi, play with some colors. I don't know, maybe sneak peek some things to you. What has been pinned? What is this? What is this? Go eat some hummus? What is this, Ben? I really gotta kick him off the mod team. I think I need new mods. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against Melissa. It was Ben who pinned this. Of course, he wants me to eat hummus. I'm gonna have a garbage bowl instead. Hangout is fun. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, more like chill hangouts, but I also want to make sure I'm creating content that's like interesting and not just hang out with me, you know, with nothing to do. <laughs> so a little bit of both, I'm working on that, but I've been really in enjoying this time for the past four months and I just want to say like, thank you guys who are here during stream, who've joined every stream, or if this is your first stream. And I really appreciate people discovering this new way of consuming me, <laughs> consuming this content, um, and just finding out if like you like watching streams and if you like having me on in the background. Cause that's all this, that's all I, I like to do is entertain people, but also just hang out. And it used to always be kind of a one-way show where I was entertaining and just like creating shit and then giving it to you. But there was no conversation really in a meaningful way. And now I get to 
create live and see you. And then you get to say things directly immediately. I like the fact that we can chat with you. Yes, Carmen. See, like I'm seeing this comment right now. <laughs> when did this start streaming or this stream? I started streaming like in May, June, a few months ago. It's been a while. Um, this stream started two and a half hours ago, so I should probably go now. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I don't know. Just being a little emo. Um, what tea could I spill? Okay, so here's what I've been doing this week, if you want to know what I've been doing. I have been working on a video for the Simply, the main channel, that is related to the university announcement that I have coming up that is related to... A tuition giveaway of sorts it's just later this year because uh, it, it's a more formal thing so it has to come out at a specific time but I'm excited about that so there will be a simply now logical video on that then in the next two weeks I do not want to. this Aries I can't even deal with the smell it's just too much do not want don't do it Dimenji no no Menchie, no! She doesn't like it. It's just too strong, man. God damn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> there's gonna be a Simply Neological video in the next two weeks. I filmed with my former professor, so that's fun and exciting. And it's also related to more in a, a more exciting announcement it's like a formal tuition thing that I've been wanting to do for a long time now. We'll probably do a podcast on that. Um, speaking of the podcast, the next Taco Tuesday podcast, we had a financial advisor, like a real financial advisor on. So that's going to be really cool. You guys loved the MLM episode last week. So next Tuesday will be a finance guy, actually qualified and shit. Uh, we took your questions on that. So we already filmed that. That'll be up Taco Tuesday. I filmed with my prof. I went to Carleton University the other day to film some extra stuff for like four hours. <laughs> I was there like just taking pictures and stuff that I'll probably post on my stories. And of course, I've been working on a lot of hollow taco stuff. That's the real tea. I'm not wearing any. There's no sneak peeks on my nails. I changed it. But I have been starting to shoot for the next thing, which is my birthday. I've mentioned before, but yes, there will be a limited edition Simply's birthday polish this year again. But it's going to be a whole different vibe than last year. Last year we had Got Cake. This year we're going to have something a little different. Something more my vibe for this year. <laughs> So whenever it's launch time upcoming, I'm always doing a million things behind the scenes that I can't share because I can't spoil it too early. My birthday's on October 17th, if you're wondering. Uh, I'm not guaranteeing that's the same day as the release day, but like my birthday is literally public information. <laughs> we always let you know the release day of something for Hollow Taco about a week before release, if you haven't noticed the pattern already. So. You know the deal. Make sure to follow Hollow Taco on all socials. Also me. Me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, wherever I like to spill the tea. <laughs> Birthday polish, yes. <laughs> Is it hollow? You'll see. I can't tell you everything right now. Yes, make sure to follow the hollow. All right, everyone. Thank you to the mods for joining me and also all the nail artists that we watch uh, earlier today. I just want to reinforce the idea that like, or I want to re reiterate whenever I show people's nail art, I really hope that people in the chat, if you like someone's art and you want to show them support, please go to their socials. Please like check out the name that I was showing on, on stream and go give them a shout, support them, follow them. Especially on Instagram, I find like it's such a dead zone because the app has been around for so long. It's a lot harder to grow these days. So anything you can do to show support to amazing nail artists and just tell them like, oh my God, your talent unmatched. <laughs> or if you like their swatches, it's always great to do. Um, 
Speaking of nail artists and, and nail accounts, our mods currently on Hollow Combo, Melon Nail Art, and Procrastination all do nail related content on their Instagrams, and their Instagrams are also the same. They go by the same name on Instagram, so you can search, I believe it's hollow.combo. Not affiliated with the official Hollow Taco, but <laughs> Procrastination and then Melon Nail Art, they all have Instagrams or other socials as well, so you can check out their nail stuff too. Uh, but we thank them for their support in the chat. All right, everyone. I will see you probably next Sunday. But I will let you know. And I've been uh, pre-listing streams now. So when I'm sure mid-next week, you'll see on this channel like when the next live stream is. And then you can hit uh, set a reminder. Um... Do we want to feed Menchie treats before we go? Ben is suggesting. Ben, do you want to bring them up here? We'll give a Menchie treat and then say bye. <laughs> Menchie, do you want a treat? Oh. Okay, never mind. She's not eating them on camera. <laughs> She's gone. He shook them and then she went out the door. All right, everyone. Oh, you coming back? <laughs> you gotta put the, are you? Okay, she deserves treats. She's done good today. She, Menchie, you had a great stream, here. Menchie, don't show your butt. Why is there not a stream this Sunday? There, there might be. I don't know. <laughs> I have too many things going on that I, I'm undecided. It depends on a few other factors. Don't bite my nails, Munchie. <laughs> but I will let you know and it will all be explained. It'll make sense. Siler. Siler's here. Siler. Up. Pick him up. You guys want to see Siler? Careful with Xyler, he will bite your nails off. Okay, Menchie, you've been good. Woo! Xyler. You see that? He's on attack. Menchie's pretty gentle. She won't, uh, she won't actually hurt my nails, but <laughs> Xyler will kill you. Xyler is is grim. Or no, he's fate. Can you put it on Xyler? Here. Ready? Look at that catch. <laughs> Xyler's a shark. Okay. All right, I'm going to end it there. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. <laughs> I hope you had a fun stream. I did. I had to chill, relax. I hope you enjoyed your tea. And I hope you have an amazing weekend. And uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Chai! <laughs>